Hey guys, coming at you with a little C-Run tying video today. This is a bug that we've been messing with for a little bit. It's kind of a fun take on a C-Run sized single station spay bug-esque thing. It's just something fun we made up. So this one's called the Stacy's Mom. Feel free to follow along or skip through the video if you want to tie it. Thanks guys. Alrighty, getting started with Dumbbells already on the hook because I didn't want to waste time and a little thread base. So, tail we're going to tie in is pink fluorofiber. I just do a little clump of this stuff. Super easy. I really like my sea run bugs to be tied pretty quick. So we're going to go through this, well, pretty quick. Um, let's see, up next we're going to do our wire because we're going to do a hackle on the body. Real quick, before I get too ahead of myself, we're rocking with the Vivas 30 denier on this one. We're going a little bit thinner. So, save us a little space at the head. Perfect. Just do an opal mirage tinsel as our body. Get it, there we go. I'm going to leave myself a little little space at the head here because we're going to do a do a dubbing loop to finish this fly or to give this fly a collar rather. Perfect. A little bit of grizzly, pink saddle hackle. Tie that in. I like to double the stem back so it won't slip out of there. Trim that off, and we're just going to walk this back woolly bugger style all right once we get to the back grab that wire trap that feather and run it straight up to the front to get the wire out of there, turn our hackle out, turn out those little guys that got kind of funky on me. Perfect. Okay, from here, little dubbing loop. I like to keep this kind of short because we're going to need to stay in control of it. Grab that dubbing spinner. We're going to do a dubbing loop using some tiger barred rabbit strips from Hairline. This one's the pink and purple, pink and black over white. So in order to set this up, I'm actually going to throw that rabbit in the dubbing loop with the hide still on and then trim it afterwards. That way we can kind of adjust the length however we need to. Go from there. That we can't find our fancy clip tool. So I'm just going to have to do it the old fashioned way. Perfect. Start spinning that up and with rabbit I like to spin it kind of slow to start. That way all the tips end up where they belong and it doesn't knot up on itself too bad. Still go through it with a comb or a bodkin or something at the end to make sure all the fibers are where they belong. Perfect. Now on this one we're just going to start 
wrapping it and as we wrap we're going to pull back this is our this is our collar this is going to get what's going to give our fly a little bit of a little bit of volume coming through the water when it comes to sea run bugs i really like bugs that jig and i like bugs that kind of kind of pulse through the water so as you strip them they slim down when you quit stripping them they open up a little bit more the rabbit does a really good job of that so we're going to get this one really nice and tight up to those dumbbell eyes need picked out a little bit so there you go it's another reason that we use that 30 to near thread on bugs like this because you need to tie it down and stay nice and tight to the lead eyes keep everything good and sorted out Awesome. Trim that loop out. Now you could end it right here, right? <sighs> super easy, super quick little fly. I'm going to trim that tail just so you know kind of what we're what we're working with. There we go. So you could end it right here. Be a great little sea run bug, but it's not good enough. So I'm going to throw some horns on there just for fun. We've been playing around with horns, rubber legs, all kinds of stuff to give it a little bit of. A little bit of extra shake and shimmy in the water. The reason we settled on horns is because they're going to sink quite a bit faster than those rubber legs are. But with sea run bugs, there's also nothing wrong with having your fly suspend a little bit more than normal. So I'm just going to measure this out. These smaller feathers sometimes that stem just doesn't want to stay where you put it. Get that a little bit better. There we down. If you're tying this fly as a time saver, I would definitely skip the horns. It's just a fun little fun little thing to add. Trim that out. Clean up some of that feather and fur that got stuck at the head there. That is one thing about rabbit hair is it seems to seems to find its way into every little nook and cranny that you leave on your fly. Perfect. That right there is the finished product. See it a little better just out of the vise with the tail. Fun little sea run bug, quick and easy to tie. Lots of variations you can do to it. I would stick with kind of a pink, pink, orange, purple color scheme, but you can get as creative as you want. Thanks for watching, guys.